Hey Luminaries, in this video I'm going to give you a quick overview on how to get a whole bunch of different looks for your pom-pom dog. We got so many requests over the holidays, so I'm going to go over real quickly. So all of these dogs that you see here, the four dogs here, they all start with one simple pom-pom, all the same amount of yarn, um, everything. So let me show you real fast. So once you have your pom-pom and you cut it open, okay, this is what you'll have. I'll make sure also that the link to all the um, steps for making a pom-pom dog is at the bottom of our description here for those who's not familiar with it. So once you have your pom-pom here, let me show you. This dog is the simplest. So, you know, we did your basic nose, um, then we added the ears, eyes, etc. So he is hardly trimmed down, as you can see here. So we did our basic felting, and then we that's all we did. And then what we did with this one, this one is actually exactly the same as this guy. All we did was we continue to felt the pom-pom. So if you just kept working it, what will happen is that the yarn will, will continue to bulk up. And this is a much um, kind of firmer pom-pom dog as well, but it also gives you a completely different look. And then this one is really cute, similar to this. And I would say the felting is between these two. So we continue to felt as well. So you could see here, there's a little bit more flattening rather than just um, this yarn right here. And then we actually kind of felt in the detail of um, an, a thicker eyebrow. And then the fun thing is that this purple, um, we actually saw a dog at the beach that had a purple mohawk. So that was the inspiration. All I did was I took um, watercolor paint, this purple, and I just kind of painted it on here. And what will happen is that it's gonna clump. So you're gonna take your you know, finger and just kind of rub and distribute the, um, the ink or the, the paint, and it will give you this kind of soft, really natural, beautiful color on your pom-pom dog. And I think that works really, really well. And then this one, um, he is just trimmed down. So similar to this one, so what we did with here was that I just took scissors and just cut closer to the nose here so you can see the difference. See? So it's really, really trimmed down and cut down. So that's the only thing. It's really, really um, easy to give, get such different looks depending on how you how much you felt, how much you trimmed down, all the different details you add. It's so super fun, and I can't believe that they all came from this one basic pom-pom. I hope that's helpful. Enjoy.